Right, so I've got a couple of little bits of news for you today, plus the fact that it was the first press conference before the uh, first game of the season, so obviously I'm going to be talking you through that as well. But uh, before we do, my name is Stephen Dawes. Don't forget to subscribe for more Crystal Palace news views and reviews. And uh, this is Palace to the Core. I got that the wrong way around, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, so um, first of all, I'm going to talk about some of the um, transfer news that's going on. Now, apparently Newcastle have made another bid for Mark Gahey. And this one apparently is closer to our um, expected bid. It's about it's around 65 million now. I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen here. It could be one that they reject again. Apparently Palace are considering it. So we'll have to wait and see. And I'm going to talk about what Oliver Glasner said about all this in a little while. So, but that's that at the moment. Um, secondly, we're also needing a left wing back because we need some competition for Tarek Mitchell. And Palace have been looking at alternatives, as you know. Um, we didn't go for Ryan Sasegnon, which I think is probably a good idea. But there are a couple of others that we are apparently looking at. First of all, is uh, Union Berlin's Robin Gozens, who is rated at around 13 million at the moment. Now, he is um, he's capable of scoring a few goals himself. So that would be a good thing, because obviously the, the more goals come from more areas of the pitch, the better for us, really. Um, so he's quite highly rated. But uh, at 13 million, it's a little bit high for us, I think, to be fair. And also, um, Union Berlin manager doesn't want to let him go. So those are two things which could go against us. The other one I want to talk about is Juventus Philip Kostic, who is um, rated at around 6.8 million. And apparently, according to Fabrizio Romano, uh, no, not Fabrizio Romano, Fabrizio Romano mentioned um, Robin Gosens, um, but other sources have said that uh, Philip Kostic is, uh, is available because we've made a bid for him. So about 6.8 million, um, we've made an initial bid, and apparently Juventus haven't rejected it, they are considering it. So it's a possibility again it's early days it could change as it often does in the in the transfer window but he's um, apparently quite good at creating chances he's good he's a good crosser of the ball he's a good passer of the ball so um so not only would he be a good wing back but he would also be good going forward as would uh, Robin Gosens so it's uh, either or I think would be a good addition to us I don't think of the two I think probably Philip Kostic would be more um more of a possibility than Robin Gosens but um, we'll have to wait and see about that let me know what you think down in the comment section about those two if you've seen them in the past then uh, let me know what you think of them and uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens if they if they come along or not so talking now about the press conference um, Oliver Glasner said that all the players are fit they're all back now Philip um, Jean-Philippe Mateta was the last one to come back after his uh, stint at the Olympics with the French squad. He's uh, he's now back and he's in training, of course, with them. Um, Oliver Glasner said that everyone is fit, which is great, obviously. He did say that not everyone is at the same fitness level that uh, he would like them to be. So I imagine he said it's going to take a couple of weeks for everyone to get up to the same type of level that he wants. So I would imagine for the first couple of games, there's probably going to be some chopping and changing around to give people minutes to get them up to speed and, and whatnot and things like that. So I think it's going to be a bit of a change early on before he settles down to maybe a regular side. I think he's probably going to stick to a fairly regular side, barring injuries and suspensions and stuff like that. So uh, I think that he didn't say who, obviously who he was going to put out for the first game, but um, I think probably the, the new recruits... Uh, will be go up, we're going up, we're going out there. Uh, Riyad and uh, Kamada, I think they'll probably both be playing. Um, I think probably Adam Wharton will play some part. He did say that Adam Wharton uh, took a, a week or so to get back into it, so he may not start the game or he may come off early. I think that's that seems to be the indication I got from what he was saying. But anyway, let me know what you think down in the comment section about that. He was also, of course, asked as it's the first um, press conference of the of the new season. He was asked about the uh, the rumours in the press about the players and um, bids coming in for them. And he said that basically they're still Palace players until he's told otherwise. He spoke to Mark Gahey, he spoke to um, Jordan Ayew, he spoke to Eze, he spoke to uh, Joachim Anderson. And everything is just as it is at the moment. And, and he said until he knows otherwise, then um, he's going to be... He's going to be playing them. He's going to be. They're going to be in training as they always have been. So as far as he's concerned, it's not up to him. Obviously, it's not up to him. Although I'm sure he does get a say in it. 
but uh, he's just happy with everything as it is at the moment. He said he's quite happy with the strength of the squad uh, that he has at the moment. But um, I think obviously that will change if we do lose anyone. But I think that if we are looking for these two wing backs, uh, among others, then that will make that will probably give us a bit more of an incentive to uh, to go for those players if if as such we do lose Mark Gahey and things like that. He also um, he also went on to say that uh, he had he felt that the preseason went well. He felt that the trip to America went well. He said there were a few things that he noticed that uh, we need to improve on. He said obviously our set pieces last season was one of the worst in the Premier League. So uh, he wants us to improve on that as well. So I'm sure there are going to be new tactics involved in the um, in the set pa set pieces this year. And hopefully we will get better at it because I think uh, it used to be one of our strengths. Set pieces used to be one of our big strengths as, as Palace. But it seems to have drifted off now. I'm hoping we can get back to the time when set pieces we were always a threat. So uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, as I do we will um, we will see an improvement in that area and in terms of the season i think i th i don't think we're going to have it all our own way i know a lot of people are saying uh you know we're going to get into europe and stuff like that i think i think we are going to have a good season i don't think it's going to be a disaster you know i think people like paul merson are saying that we could be uh, down for relegation i don't think that's going to happen but i do think that um we may lose a bit of our honeymoon period. I think when Oliver Gazdan came in and changed our style of play and changed the way we approached the game, I think that a lot of teams were a bit shocked by it. And even though teams know Oliver Glasden and would have researched him and, and things like that, I think it was still a bit of a shock uh, towards the end of last season. But this season, I think they're probably going to be a lot more informed of uh, his tactics and how he likes to play and just how we... Um, look at strengths and the weaknesses of teams they are going to do the same to us so I think next season um, is probably not going to be um, it's not going to be a walk in the park obviously because we're playing against some really good teams I don't I think you know I wouldn't expect us to be rolling out winners at every game I think we are going to have tough games as we always do have so but I think on general terms I think we're going to be in a better position than we were last season I think that we're probably going to go higher than 10th um, that would that would be my aim to go higher than 10th European spot would be lovely, but um, I think if we can get higher than we were last season, I think that will be progress for us in the right direction. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section about our chances for the season, whether you think that we're going to be um, relegation fodder, or do you think that we're going to be mid-table mediocrity, or do you think that we could go for a, a stint in Europe? Let me know down in the comment section what you think as always, and I will see you next time.